he served in the late 60s and early 70s and he was diagnosed in 2013. Those are the words of a military widow who is on a mission to save Vietnam veterans from a staggering health crisis. By estimates, Agent Orange is causing Vietnam veterans to die at a faster rate than even World War II vets. This weekend in Gilbert, special attention is being paid to this epidemic, and that's where we find our Ryan Sims with details. Ryan? Yeah, hey, Spencer, you know, sometimes the simplest messages can cause the most action. So with that in mind, I want you to take a look at the beautiful water tower here that is looking like a scene from Vegas, but so much more important. The message is here tonight. You can see that it is illuminated in orange, and that is to honor those who were sickened and eventually died from Agent Orange exposure, which obviously is our Vietnam veterans. And if you don't think that this is an issue that could affect you, just consider the numbers tonight. Scientists say Asian orange exposure could be passed down to generations of people. So if a vet was exposed to it in Vietnam, the chemical could be passed down to their grandchildren's grandchildren. It is that bad. Now, back in the Vietnam days, Agent Orange was a chemical used to clear out vegetation, but at a devastating toll to those who came in contact with it. The result, vets dying from diseases brought on from Agent Orange decades after exposure. Takes that long. One of the victims came here from Gilbert, and this weekend, his widow brainstormed the idea to light up the water tower here. I think he's watching, and he's thanking me for not dropping the ball and keeping the promises to educate, to honor, and to remember. And we wish her well because it is truly a horrible, horrible toll that it is taking on those who served our country. By the way, exposure uh, to uh, this deadly, deadly chemical has been known to cause Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, diabetes, cancer, so very serious things. If you or you, someone you know is affected by this, you think that they're affected by this, there are many organizations out there that could help you and get the ball rolling on, on it, I should say, including the American Legion. Now, as for the beautiful uh, water tower here, again, is lighting up the sky here. It's going to be like this all weekend long, again, over something that is very serious and does need to be examined. Live in Gilbert tonight, Ryan Sims, Arizona's family. Very picturesque reminder there, Ryan. Thank you.